Talk Live. It's a video game talk show, and we're live, which is just wild. And guess what? We're here Whoa! five days a week. Yeah, they, they keep yeah. us here. We actually live here seven days, but we air five. You suck. That's right, and we yeah. talk about the top That's my video. dad. Look at AI. He's hotter than a firecracker on 4th of July. God, I look amazing, and I sound amazing. Sure. Uh, but first, Todd, oh. I want to get into this Evolve stuff, as previously mentioned. That's Charles Darwin. I pieced that together. Any game with Evolving in it, yeah. he's interested in. Amaze balls. <laughs> So with this, he's known to say that if yeah, you read no, the you uh, Origins read... of Species. Co-op game again by the guys from Leopard Dead. Yeah. You're you're befuddled. I'm this befuddled. Is, you thought this was about Charles Darwin. Well, no. I mean, it's sci-fi and guns and right. giant monsters, and that's pretty cool. And hopefully, please, for the love of God, could this be the end to the zombie games? No, probably no. not. Yeah. So there. Yeah, it's the CryEngine three, and here's one of the things. A lot of Yahoos out there are complaining, or at least they're shr shrugging their shoulders, saying, "Oh, the graphics aren't that good." If, if all you care about are graphics in a game, you're an absolute idiot. Because just because it's an X-Gen game doesn't mean it has to have graphics that blow you no. away. Find a sports game. No, I like a game that looks like uh, Predator on steroids. Next is this whole we fight back thing, Todd. Well, I'm fired up. Yeah, because you don't like the NSA. The day we fight back, so boo, NSA. Okay. Boo, shame on you. All right, so slow down. Now so, what do we do? So what this is... What is, do we do now? Uh, we got nothing. The, this is The internet started this whole thing today. Should I put some memes on Facebook? I'm going to do that. Yeah. That'll show NSA. If you go on Dig and upvote some stuff. One of the biggest sites on the internet, Yahoo, that's right, LinkedIn, Google, Facebook, all the sites that have ruined your life to this point, total 6,000 sites, are rallying around this idea that we fight back against the NSA. How do you do that? Well, they've started a site that you insert your phone number in. They'll call you with the script and a number of your congressman or whatever. You call them and you bitch like, hey, we don't want you to make laws and all that. So far, at this point, since we are a live show, I can tell you nearly 80,000 people have made calls. Over 140,000 people have made emails. Todd, this does absolutely nothing. You said earlier that Google ruins your life with these tech companies. More like Facebook. Google probably knows more about me than the NSA ever would. Google and Facebook are the ones that are doing all this yes, stuff. Yes, but they can't put you in jail. But, who's, but who, how is the NSA putting people? This, this is why this stuff is nuts. We also have the right to privacy. But you're also admitting by going onto these sites, you're you're giving up your privacy. You check well, box there, there that is, allow them well, to track your now information. Now here's the difference with Google. That's that is technically true. With Google and some Facebook, you can opt out. Guess what? With the NSA, you can opt out. They're gathering all data and then they mine it to draw conclusions which may or may not be true. If you're really that worried, then become Mick Dodge and go out in the middle of the woods so the NSA <laughs> really can't find you. Well, that's true. We, we could all become a Luddite. That's absolutely true. I like the army flag back here. Yes, thank this you. This is sending a statement. Is that Guru Randall? No, no. That's, Freedom is well, no, free. he's, he's becoming Guru Randall, yeah, but that's yeah. Wolfstan. <laughs> I, I know it's Wolfstan. He's, he's, he's evolving gunner, into gunner it. Opticals. Well, here's the thing. If you want to actually participate in this, Correct. yelling at the internet and trying to put a meme up or whatever isn't going to do much. What you want to do is call the editors of newspaper and media because that's what motivates them. You call your congressman, that's great, but typically you get a form letter back. So what you really want to do is get their ass in the press if you want to bring about change. Pretty much. And finally, a man has built an awesome door. Wow, that's a weird thing. He's built an awesome door. Yeah. yeah. Is he Jim Morrison? No. Do you, do Can we at least get a picture? It? Yeah, what's yeah. this yeah. awesome yeah. door people, look like? People pay good money, give them a picture. That. Show us, oh, that's the door. That. What the hell? Look at that. Oh, this is, this makes sense. See, that's neato. Video game people love stuff like that because it is beautiful engineering and artwork. The uh, next story here on the docket, oh, this is actually pretty cool. Lords of the Fallen, Todd. Holy really? shit. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Probably uh, one of the cooler looking action RPGs we've seen in some time. Yeah. Some I, people are giving it shoulder shrugs, but I, I don't know. I think it looks cool. Should we play some video before we really get into it? It does look cool. We call bosses lords. Of course, they're the lords that command the Fallen God's army. Thus, There's the title. The title. See, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the idea that we have is they traverse from demonic dimension to human world. And to make that skip, they need a lot of energy to accumulate. And then they blast in with a huge explosion like this guy. So that's First Warden, the first boss in the game. Gotcha. This is going to be out on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One mm -hmm. uh, fall this year. Mm -hmm. There you go. I don't know. Some people are getting some mixed reaction to it. Obviously, we didn't play it. It's pre-alpha footage. Yeah. It looks like a game that's going to be, or they say it's a game that's really, really hard. Really? Yeah. That's good. 
I guess. I mean, it's I not a button nice. masher, as they say. It's not an open world sandbox kind of game or what they have really, you. They really went out and got the best looking characters for this game, didn't they? Well, it's one of those games that I think does, well, I don't know what this, yeah. This guy's got a tattoo right above his bridge. There's this guy. I have a question about Skype. Can we see what the hell is happening in Cam 6? Since, but he's uh, yeah, that's this right. Guy. Yeah, that's right. Why am I getting dragged into this? I'm just we, looking. You're we, just, you're wait. Look, I thought Therosol had the uh, the lead on the most casual person. Yes. No, don't, don't move. You don't have to move. Listen, yes, we're just, turn, you got to figure it figured out. Can, Can I, I paint you like one, one of my French, French girls? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's all right. Look, so. he was listening to you rant and he had to lay down. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, as all people I think do. I still have him beat. He laid it down. So well, there we go. Therosol does have his beat. He's got his forehead above camera now. There yeah. Again, we're here every day. Monday through Friday. We'll be here back tomorrow, 5 o'clock to 6. Yeah. I'm Paul. He's Todd. We will catch you then. Take care. There's no choice but to take a stand. I don't care if I'm wrong or right. All I do is stand in line. That's awesome.